Hey guys, so I thought uh, this is my second Periscope now. Um, if you no idea how I am, I have a food blog which can be found on um, www.amateurchef.co.uk and basically this video is just a quick video. I like to order um, cases of wine. Um, and this is the first time I've got wine from Virgin Wines. So thought I would do a video of opening it up. Um, now I know what I've got because I pre-selected it on the website. Um, some of the the reason I like doing the wine cases is that a lot of the time you get um, completely random bottles of wine that you've never tried before. And I think that's a really good way of trying something new. Um, previously, I'd go to the supermarket, constantly buy the same bottles of wine that I'm used to and really never experience anything new. So these, this is what I've been doing really. Um, I started off with Majestic Wines, which um, personally I think have been the best that I've had so far. Um, they've been really good. Um, Virgin Wines, like I say, this is the first one that I've ordered. Um, so see what, see what there is. Um, so. Have a look now. Don't actually have my camera stand today, so let's try and do it one handed, which is really difficult. Okay, so with this box, uh, there's the usual advertising the wish and the receipt. Um, so this box here, 12 bottles of wine and, well, 11 bottles of wine and one bottle of Moe. Um, it came to, I believe it was £127, but with a one of the £50, 50 pounds off vouchers that came with one of the other deliveries that I've had. Um, so put it down to 70 quid, which I think is a bargain. Um, the only downside of doing that is that you do automatically get enrolled into their wine club. Um, which personally, you know, they charge you charge you once a month, every month. I don't personally think it's worth it, so I cancelled that straight away. Um, so yeah, not bad for fifty pounds off, really. So first up is the Moe. Then we've got a bottle of red there. Um, no idea what that is, but looks nice. Nice bottle, nice label. Followed by that, we have another red, a Grand Reserve, 2008, and that's nice. Whenever I try wines, I always go by the, the label. Let's see. So we have a, a nice rosé. Uh, I'm a fan of rosé as well. I find it. I find whites tend to be quite dry. Reds, obviously, quite heavy. So rosés are nice, nice in between. I find quite sweet, really lovely. And uh, we've got a nice. Nice white and a another rose. Now most of these are, are French wines, um, mainly because next year I am going to France, so it'd be nice to, to try a few French wines and get a taste for them. And here we have a, another rose, it's a California rose. Um, wine Zinfandel, that's typically one of my favourite types of rose. Really nice and sweet. And then we have a Malbec as a red. Um, Malbecs are lovely. One of the best Malbecs I had actually was from Audi. Um, it was either Audi or Lidl, but they're gorgeous. It was only three pound fifty a bottle. Uh, it's lovely. And here we have uh, another red. So plenty of red to go through. And then finally, the last white. Um, so there we have. I mean. To be honest, with um, Virgin Wines, I recommend them with, you know, if you've got a discount code or if you've got a, a voucher, well worth doing. Um, again, though, watch out for the, the, the wine club. Um, I also had that experience with Naked Wines, but again, Naked Wines were brilliant. Wine tasted lovely, um, really good. Um, so far, my favourite is Majestic Wines. Um, you can see a review of them on, on my blog if you wanted to, to get a, an in-depth review. Um, again, just amateurchef.co.uk. Um, and that's it really, just a, a quick video this time. Um, if you 
like to see more obviously follow subscribe all the usual good stuff and hopefully see you on the next video cheers bye